All right, good afternoon, everybody. Colin here with TechOut. About to get started here. One UI Beta 3 is now out for the S23 series. Um, it's actually been out for a few hours now, probably about eight or nine hours. Um, but unfortunately, I had some things to do this morning, um, so I was not home and able to uh, install everything right away. So let me get everything popped over here to the camera, and we'll go ahead and get started. Um, so I have not installed anything yet. Um, we are still right here on the uh, Beta 2. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, get the installation process started here for Beta 3. Uh, then we're going to go through the uh, change, no change log, um, check out what's new, and I'll show you guys a couple things. Um, if we have any questions or anything like that, people can ask them in the comments. Um, so here is the update right here. Um, it is... Uh, one point, almost 1.3 gigabytes. Uh, we still have some known issues, stuff like that, but there are bugs that have been fixed and there are very few new features right there as well. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, click download on this and get that installation process started right here. Um, so if anybody has anything to add, comment, uh, anything like that, let me know um, and we can go over some of those in, uh, in the stream while we wait on beta 3 to download and install. I know there's a couple videos out there already. I do try to do this right when it comes out, but unfortunately, like I said, Samsung has been very inconsistent on uh, the beta releases, uh, the timing, stuff like that. Uh, usually it comes out sometimes it's Thursday night into Friday morning. Uh, this time it was Wednesday night into Thursday morning. Um, I came out like one or two, I think, maybe even later than that. Actually, it was probably, no, it was probably closer to early this morning, like 8 or 9 a.m. Uh, now that I think about it. So very inconsistent. All right, so that is done. We're going to go ahead and hit install now. And uh, we'll give that a few minutes to install. I'll be right back. All right, so that is installing. Pretty quick download there. I got some new Wi-Fi 6 access points here in my, uh, in my office. So download speeds are pretty good. For those interested, I will be doing a iPhone pre-order stream tomorrow about 7.45 a.m. Eastern Time. Uh, right before the iPhone pre-orders go live, I will be uh, streaming and uh, doing the experience for that. So if anybody's interested, make sure you subscribe. Um, you can also add that stream uh, to your reminders. A lot of the uh, animations are apparently a lot better in this. Um, I'm not going to focus too much on the animations. A lot of people are asking about that, but it's kind of hard to show here on YouTube because of the frame rate. Um, you're seeing about half the uh, half the frame rate that you would see in real in real life, uh, being that YouTube is 60 frames a second, and of course the phone is 120. So it's hard to show all that. Um, so I'm not going to be doing all that kind of stuff and uh, focusing all on that. We're going to look at some other stuff this time as well.
it's taking quite a bit of time here to uh, install for the the size it was. I had a pretty quick download, but install time is uh has definitely been a few minutes here. If anybody's running beta 2, beta 3, let me know how your experience has been um, this far. If you had any major, major bugs, issues with apps, um, you know, crashes, that kind of stuff. Looks like we're almost done here. All right, getting a restart here. Should be uh, good to go after this. Optimizing the apps real quick. All right, and we are in. Uh, let me just do so one thing I do um, oh, I gotta I gotta restart it for the service provider update real quick because I have my uh, mint eSIM in there uh, so we're probably gonna lose the gonna lose the features for um, Samsung members for the beta just because that does that for some reason I have to put my T-Mobile SIM back in there and uh, restart it to get those back I think it's restarting. It said it was restarting. There we go. All right, so. Uh, once this boots back up, I'm going to do the quick uh, cache clear real quick um, that I always recommend doing after the after the software updates. Um, so let me just see. I'm going to see something real quick, and then I'm going to go ahead and restart it for that. Let me see if I have. Uh, let's see. Yeah. So the beta program, whenever it switches to my Mint Sim, I always lose the. Uh, the beta stuff on Samsung members for some reason, um, even though it's an unlocked phone, so Mint, I'm uh, pretty sure it should work. Um, so I'm not sure why it does that, but I, if I put my T-Mobile SIM in, restart it, and take that SIM back out and leave this on eSIM without restarting it, it will uh, it will bring those features back. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and um, turn it off real quick. And then we're just going to hold power or uh, volume up and power. Until we get that. And then we're just going to hold the volume up button. All right. Once we get into this menu, we're just going to scroll down to wipe cache partition. Hit the power button for enter. Scroll down to yes, power button for enter. There we go. And then we're just going to reboot system now. And just clear the cache, get rid of any old junk from the previous beta that may not have cleared during the update. Helps it run a little bit smoother out of the gate. Why did that disconnect? 
All right, we should be back now. I don't know what happened. The uh, stream had disconnected there for a second, but looks like we are good to go. All right, so let me pop into the beta. Um, the latest software update. So we're going to go over what's new here. I'm just going to read this. I know you guys can't see it on screen, but I'm just going to read it off the phone. Uh, so we have the video player enhanced layout. Video player controls are now easier than ever. Uh, enhanced playback speed controls. Um, so basically we only have video player. Uh, the video player new features are the only things that are new. Um, bugs that have been fixed, improved one UI home crash, or improved sometimes stop problem when, when switching home screen using app. Um, yeah, I don't know, the English here is kind of poor, but uh, I'm just reading it like I said off the thing. Um, improved the problem that Samsung Pay is not executed with swipe gesture, automatic restart device care, um, add manual setting menu for schedule restart, improve the shape of the notification icon and text message, fix the notification bar color errors when running apps on DeX, fix the problem that the routine does not work in when you receive a message condition. Um, and then there's just a couple, couple known issues still right there, but they're not really pertaining to anything that we're using, so um, not a big deal. Let me see something here with, all right, so you can see here the, the little icon for um, do not disturb up there and the icons is different. Um, so this is One UI 5.5 on my, uh, sorry, One, One UI 5.1.1 on my Fold 5. And you can see it is a hollow icon up there. And then on One UI 6, it is now a solid uh, white icon with the line through the middle. That is something that is new. Um, before in previous versions that was um, you know this style right here like it is on the fold 5 um, so that has changed from beta 2 to beta 3 uh, one other thing that has changed in the settings um, looks like we still don't have full access to the um, the, the back preview um, appears that it is working only in settings still so you can see there it doesn't even work in all the settings like that one doesn't do it, um, that one doesn't do it. But right here, if we do it, you can see it previews the last page. Um, so that's still something that's not fully functional yet. Um, they did move the um, performance profile down here. It is now under um, device care and under performance. You can change that right there. Auto optimization right here uh, for your auto restart. That kind of stuff is moved down there. Um, and then you have your battery section right here. And they do have a little, new little thing on the graph here showing you when it charged to 100% last. Still doesn't show you, um, still doesn't show you the screen off time. Only shows you the screen on time and uh, when it was last, uh, when it stopped charging last, and the last charge percentage right there on the text above the graph. So that is something that is kind of new. Um, and that's pretty much really all that has changed UI wise. Um, the stuff that I just read over and then that and then of course the animations are still being worked on so they are a little bit better um, but they're still like I said still being worked on hopefully we have um, hopefully we have this stuff in the uh, coming to more devices here soon like the S22 Ultra um, the Fold 4 the Fold 5 I really want to see it on the Fold 5 and see what it brings to the Fold 5 but I uh, haven't heard anything about that yet a lot of people are speculating that with Beta 3 to beta four, um, we will see it somewhere around then. Um, once things are ironed out a little bit more, um, we'll start seeing it on the premium devices like the folds and the flips and stuff like that. Um, so that is beta three right there. Like I said, not too, too much new. Um, they've pretty much added what they're gonna add. And at this point, it is just refining those features, uh, making them work good, making them look good, and um, you know, fixing the performance and stuff like that, uh, and listening to users on that. So if you have any issues, make sure you're reporting it in the members app uh, so they can work on those and fix those before the public release um, probably see another um, couple betas maybe and then public release probably sometime in maybe october or november ish if i had to guess i've been here in october a lot so um, probably sometime around there but like i said not too much to talk about so i'm just going to leave it at that with the live install um, so you guys know how that went and then I showed you guys the change log and some of the new things that have moved around. I'm Colin with TechOut. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And as always, have a great day.